Merry Christmas, everyone. It's Joshua Films, and look, guys, I gotta be honest. You know, I try to get a lot of stuff out, and you know, I'm just not gonna rush stuff at this point. So just you know, be patient with me. I'll get uh, I'll get a few movies out, you know, at some point, but I'm not gonna rush anything. So I hope you guys are having a Merry Christmas. I know I have been having a Merry Christmas. You know, I didn't. This, these videos aren't scripted, so what do you expect? Um, but. I got a bunch of gifts this year, and I'm pretty sure you guys did too, at least I hope you did, because if you don't, then what's the point of Christmas? I'm just kidding, there's a whole thing that, you know, no one really cares about, but, you know, you know. And of course, being the birth of your boy, Jesus, but, you know. Um, so, what did I get this Christmas? Well, as you guys know, I like to do these little videos. Uh, last year I was a little late, so I thought I'd film this a little early. So, I'm gonna be showing you guys what I got for Christmas. So, first and foremost, let's start off with the movies. First and foremost, we got Smile. Uh, this was an excellent film, uh, really good jump scares, and I don't say that often. I hate jump scares, but the jump scares in this film are well effective, and you know, this film has a shit ton, but I don't think any of them are bad. I think all of them serve a purpose, and that's exactly what I want from a jump scare in a horror film. So let me move that and place that over there. So, smile, I love, I love it, yeah. This is hands down my favorite horror film of this year. This was an excellent film. Uh, it's one of my favorite films of this year. It, Maya Goff was a terrific actress and I really hope she is at least considered for Oscars because dear God, she knocked it out of the park with this film. We got bodies, bodies, bodies. Uh, I know some people did not like this film and that's totally fine, but I gotta be honest, I found this film incredibly funny just by how stupid everyone was and the situations they found themselves in. And it was a good murder mystery with a funny twist that I dare not spoil, but definitely check it out if you're willing to give Gen Z, uh, Gen Z humor a chance. Um, but the thing I liked about it was that it makes fun of Gen Z humor. So it's not just stuff yet, no. Um, also, Haunt. This is a film that I really enjoy. Uh, I watch it every Halloween. Uh, I saw it when it came out in 2019 on, uh, why well, I watched it on movie iTunes, but I know it was like a Shudder exclusive thing or whatnot. Uh, yeah, Shudder. Uh, but there was no Blu-ray release and it, last year I think they released a Blu-ray. So I was like, oh yeah, I gotta get that. Okay, now. Ghost Watch. I have been looking for this film for so long. I bought it on DVD because on the DVD they had was like, uh, it's, a, it's a bootleg and it was just, you know, the quality wasn't great, but you know, it's whatever. Uh, so what is this? Well, this is, so this movie is essentially the first like, found, not found footage, but like the first analog horror shit that you like, you know, before Blair Witch, before the last broadcast, it was Ghost Watch. Uh, this is, this like predates analog horror. And I absolutely love the shit out of this movie. It's very creepy, unnerving. It spends times with its characters. And when this came out, people thought it was real because it was in the UK. UK, I believe, yeah. UK, and uh, it was a TV broadcast and people didn't know it was fake. So they thought it was real and shit went down. But the, thing, the cool thing about this is not only does it come with the Blu-ray, which is in itself awesome, the fact that we get this on Blu-ray after like 30, 40 years, but we have the script for the movie. Uh, yeah, the fucking script. I haven't read it all, but not only that, we have this cool little book, this little uh pamphlet I think it's what's called where it shows like the behind the scenes and the making and how they were able to do that and this, just to show you what kind of stuff you're getting into that's the ghost of the in the film he's creepy as hell uh this is an excellent uh box set and I don't know what this is I th oh I think this is like a bunch of posters yeah these are posters so I'm not gonna open that yet but very cool not box set but like blu-ray special edition Th this is just fantastic i love this this is so good um now we're gonna get into this which is a horror calendar for 2023 um every year i like to put stuff on the calendar so i won't like you know show all of it but 
you know, let's, uh, you know, let's just go to my favorite month, which is Christmas. You know, you got all the stuff you got, you know, you know, you got Hanukkah, you got, you know, I don't know what that is, so, no. but, yeah, really cool, horror themed, uh, this is, actually, I'll save that for last, maybe. Uh, no, actually, I'll show it now. Okay, so Donkey Kong, the board game. I love collecting board games, and I oh, and I especially love collecting video game board game themed board games. Like that's such a weird thing. Like I, I own Mario the board game, Sonic, which is like the rarest of the rare, Pac Man, uh, Legend of Zelda, and now I have Donkey Kong. All that's left is that I get Mrs. Pac Man and uh, some other ones, but you know. There. Now we're gonna get into the video games because, of course, uh, this is a game I've been wanting to check out for a while. Terminator Resistance. It looked fun. Uh, IGN gave it a shit review, but no one likes it, IGN, so it means it must be good. Um, we got the absolute banger, which I have not played, <laughs> which is Dark Pictures Anthology. The Devil in Me. I love the Dark Pictures Anthology. I think they're like among my favorite game franchise. In terms of replay, they don't really have a lot because they're essentially like a movie, but in the form of a video game. I know a lot of people have been like, oh, they should make a movie where you have the, you know, the choice between like, you know, what characters decide and do. But I don't think that's really possible in the form of a movie. So this is the closest thing we get. And I, this one really seems, it kind of gives me like House of Wax, uh, Saw-like vibes. And that is, dude, I'm excited for the next one, the Alien one or whatever, the spaceship one, that one looks cool. The Quarry. This is the spiritual sequel to Until Dawn, and I love Until Dawn. Until Dawn is my favorite in terms of that category between choosing char what characters live and die. That game is so fun, I replay it every, every year. It's so good, like the characters, the, the choices, the deaths are just so graphic and creepy. The game has a nice winter atmosphere. I just love it. I love playing it every time this year, and I can't wait to play this. I've heard mixed things about it, but I think the majority do like it, so that's, you know, that's exciting. Like, I know people don't like the facial animation, but that that's whatever. It's motion capture. What the hell do you expect? Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Uh, I'm not really a first-person shooter kind of guy, but I gotta admit, when I, when I played Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the original for the first time, I was blown away, and I'm like, dude, I have to play the remake, so I bought the remake, uh, or, I'm sorry, I got the remake for, uh, Christmas of 2019, or 2018, I don't know. Uh, that was a lot, no, it was 2019, yeah, 2019. Uh, that was a lot of fun, I can't wait to play this, uh, but I heard the multiplayer's ass, so that should be fun. I'm excited. And lastly, guys, this is the one I've been waiting for my entire life. That little backstory. I wanted a Nintendo Switch for Christmas, but my friend suggested I get a PlayStation. And by God, I am glad I got a PlayStation because, it, I mean, you already know what I'm going to show, but, you know, I mean, I'm glad I got the PlayStation, but I think it's finally time I bring out the Nintendo Switch. Oh, baby. I am a, I'm a happy wee lad. We got the Switch. I don't have any games for it, but I'm going to get some games. Uh, I'm gonna check out the shop once I hook it up. But this is this is um, this is awesome. I mean, I'm a Mario fan, but you know, I haven't really played any of the current Mario games. Uh, the only ones that I have been able to play are the ones on my Wii U, which I have right there uh, off screen. But I haven't played it in a while, so I'm gonna replay those games, including the ones on here in preparation for the Mario movie, because that looks like a banger. I don't care if Chris Pratt's playing Mario, that looks like a banger. So that's all I'm ex I'm so excited. I'm so excited to play this. I'm so excited to play the games I have and watch the movies I own. Guys, this Christmas has been really good for me. I hope it's been good for you. If it's not, I'm really sorry to hear that. Um, I know, you know, sometimes this year can be tough for, uh, this time of year can be tough for some people. And I just want you to know that if you're going through any hardships, it, it does get better. And I hope that you, you know, if you're having a good Christmas, just appreciate the, you know, the, the ones you're spending Christmas time with, like your friends and family, just, just appreciate it because nothing lasts forever. So I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and I'll see you guys soon when I release a new movie. Take care. Merry Christmas.